Deep in the darkened bowels of USS Harry S. Truman, there's a room that can get up to 106 degrees, where Airman Timothy Price drips with sweat and drips with pride for the U.S. Navy. I am doing the laundry for 12, 13, 14 hours a day, sweating in the heat box, and I mean, I love every second of it. High above his head in the middle of the darkened ocean, a Hawkeye from his Oceana squadron of Seahawks snags a cable and is jerked from about 150 miles an hour to zero in about two seconds. The crews won't rest till well after midnight, crews that begin their day when the sun comes up. Truman sailors are off our coast, part of a giant armada, nearly 25 ships, three aircraft carriers, more floating weapons than ever before in a joint exercise. Very much more than usual and more than uh, uh, that I've experienced at all in my career. The British are training too and are truly in awe of Truman. Something like 5,000 people on here, I mean that's just huge, you know, our biggest ship has got 1,100 on, I suspect. And while the most dangerous work may be done on the flight deck, some of the hardest working sailors are down below. We work hard, you know, seven, seven days a week, 12 hours a day. So it's, uh, it's not much time for fun, but I mean, you got to make fun sometimes. So whether it's singing songs down in laundry or just goofing off with the guys, you know, you got to take a break somewhere in there. Truman sailors will get a break in a few days when this exercise is over, but in a few months, they will deploy to the Persian Gulf for six to seven months. Price says he will go home to Indiana first to see his four-year-old son, and he'll bring lots of pictures. His son has never seen the ocean. Off the coast of Virginia aboard USS Harry S. Truman, Stacey Davis, your News Channel 3.